The Steel City Jazz Festival is starting at the beginning of June and we are so excited for Birmingham. I'm here with Cedric Allen. He's going to tell us all about it. How excited are you personally about this festival for Birmingham? Well, Lillian, I'm, I'm, I mean, man, I can't even put it in words. This is the fourth year for Steel City Jazz Festival here in our great city of Birmingham. So you can imagine having it here again and having all of the people from all over the world. It's, it's going to be phenomenal. It's going to be awesome. For the people that have never ex experienced it before, um, what, what can they expect? Man, you can expect everything from the greatest food that will be here from the vendors. Of course, we have 25 of the world's top-notch artists, starting with uh, none other than the OJs, Boney James, David Sanborn, and Kirk Whalum, and so forth and so on. It's going to be awesome. Um, let's talk about this year. There are a few different things that you need to remember, but if you go to any football games, it shouldn't be a surprise. So this year we're talking clear purses for the ladies and no coolers. Let's, let's go over that kind of stuff. Sure. Uh, of course, this year, because of the, the way society has changed, we had to adopt the same mandated policy that the city has, which is clear bags policies, which you now is at all of the football games, baseball games, and so forth and so on. So this year, unfortunately, for our family and festival goers, we would not have the coolers, of course, allowed in the parks, as well as uh, clear bag policies enforced. Well, hey, clear bags, ladies, let me tell you, this is a great time to make sure your husband just put your lipstick in his pocket or go to a cute boutique, get yourself a little purse. It'll be fine, right? It It'll will, <laughs> it will. We, we're gonna get through this, but we're excited about just having it back here in the I'm great excited. city of Birmingham. It's, it's awesome. It's huge. Talk about the economic impact too. Man, the great part about that, it puts, as we like to say, uh, thanks to our mayor and the city council of Birmingham, we're making about $5 million in wow. impact here for the city of Birmingham. So you got a lot of people that's coming from all over the world into our great city from New York, Chicago, Detroit, Florida, oh Texas, gosh. coming in. So you can imagine those people have to stay somewhere. So that means that we are, you know, utilizing the hotels, uh, all of the eateries that we're taking advantage of with having the people here in Birmingham. So It's yeah, going to be great. so vibrant down here. And if you've never experienced this jazz festival, do not miss it. Do not miss your chance this year. Is there a place people can go online if they want to learn more? Of course you can. You can go up on the SteelCityJazzFest.org or SteelCityJazzFestBham.com and you can find out all of the information and all the schematics are up so i think you have a great time and we have got all that information on your screen the magic of tv is amazing thanks so much for joining us today thank you lillian for having me we are so excited and we are so excited for birmingham i'm lillian lalo with cbs 42 community